about it every day, every day, every day. Like this song has over a million views. He said YOLO and er day, er day, er day. And guess what? He repeats this. Who the fuck produced this? They're fucking stupid. We're sitting on the bench, nigga. We don't really play every day. We're sitting on the bench, we don't even play. You're not even bragging. Remember, this is a braggadocio. You're meant to say how good you are and that every time you play, you win. Not that you're so shit that you're left on the fucking bench. Every day, fuck what anybody say. Can't see him cause the money in the way. Real nigga, what's up? Oh, we don't care what anyone says. Well, that's fucking obvious from what you just put down on tape. Fuck. Good way to state the obvious, you fucking idiot. One. Time fuck one time. I'm calling niggas out like the umpire. Seven. That was horrible. I've heard so many people and seen so many comments on the internet about how Little Wayne is misunderstood and he's actually really good. No. He may have one or two good songs that I haven't heard. This isn't one of them. And all the other 20 odd songs I've heard of his weren't them either. They all suck. Did you hear Bedrock? This is worse. Grams in the butt, almost drowned in the pussy, so I swam to the butt. It's Asa, we in this. Asa, they got this thing in Young Money where it's like, well, we don't have any like slang of our own because we're actually just a bunch of people who grew up in rich neighborhoods or were too much of a pussy to actually be in a gang. So what will we do? We'll, we'll, computer brand, uh, ASAP. Yeah, ASAP. Yeah, that works. We'll just do that. That works. ASAP. Yeah, we're gangsta. Eat. Bitch, wish a nigga would like a tree in this bitch. And if a leaf fall, put some weed in that bitch. That's my MO at a beat of that shit. I'm ah, see, so yeah, there's a pattern. See, this happened the first time I listened to Stupid Ho as well. See, when she started rhyming man over and over again, I thought it would be the rest of the song. No, they have this little trend in amongst them that, you know, it's fun. If you rhyme the same word together three times in a row, it sounds gangsta. Fucking idiots. Fucked up, tore down, I'm twisted, door knob, talks. If you haven't seen this clip, this is him trying to say that he's a stoner. Ooh, wow, that sounded really cool. You, Cypress Hill can't compete with that. Jesus Christ. And just to put the icing on the cake, he's skipping around. He's skipping around. He's using nerd lingo and skipping around, but trying to look gangster. This is a fucking mindfucker shit. Why reference Mr. Ed? If you're gonna put someone down, why Mr. Ed? I know other rappers have used it and I've enjoyed it because they've used it in a clever way. He's just said Mr. Ed. You are Mr. Ed. You're not like Mr. Ed. You just are Mr. Ed. You're so clever, little Wayne. I can't compete with it. I'm so young, money got a drum on a gun in the desert bunny. Funny how honey ain't sweet like sugar, ain't shit sweet. Niggas on the street like hookers, ah. Negroes on the street like hookers. You're a hooker. He's, the irony is killing me. This guy is a hooker. He took a genre that he didn't know about, put some synth beats over it, and made a lot of money for a lot of good producers. He's the hooker. He can't go around calling other people a hooker. He's getting hoarded out by a record label to make this fucking shit, to make them money, and then he gets a little scraping cut at the bottom. You're the hooker, you fucking dickhead. Tongue kiss her other uh, tongue. Ski, ski, ski. Oh, he's talking about kind of linguist. Her other tongue? How many vaginas have you come across where there's a tongue? Wouldn't you freak out if a tongue just fell out of a chick's vagina? That'd freak me the fuck out. Man, he must be going out with some radioactive bitches. Skeet, water gun. Skeet, skeet, skeet. Yeah, little John hadn't done that in 2002. Jesus, it's 211 when this was made. He's nine years behind. Oh my god. Good work, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh my god, it's not like Usher's worst hit that he ever made totally ruined that fucking phrase. I keep looking at her butt. Don't yeah, and um, if you didn't hear that correctly, remember that bit from that really crappy so song by Sir Mix a lot? I like big butts with the two chicks talking at the start. You know that really annoying bit you skip? Yeah, he just parroted it. 
as a part of his verse because he's so clever. Now she want a photo. You already know though. You only live once. That's the model nigga yellow when we... Alright, I can't finish this. This... Look, I'm just going to give you my overall critique of this. This is the worst song made in history. Stupid Ho, I'd rather hear that. Cray Sean bumpin' bumpin', I'd rather hear that. Hell, Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe, I'd rather be listening to that. None of this song is good. It repeats, the chorus is stupid, and all the people in it can barely rap. It's a fucking piece of dog shit. I fucking hated it. I'm glad that I got this out of the way. Now all the stress in my life is over. I've honestly witnessed the worst piece of shit that I'm ever gonna witness. Oh. Anyway, I'm going to take some time to relax after that horrible ordeal. I'll see you again, and remember, subscribe and comment down there. Suggestions, funny little things, I don't care. I'll even reference it in my videos if it's funny enough. Anyway, so that was another review. I hope you enjoyed it. Little Wayne, what a fucking... Who... Ugh, fuck it.